Hello everybody and welcome to Nextreme. Today we're going to be playing some NBA 2K Playgrounds 2 on the Nintendo Switch. Let's check it out. Hello everybody, welcome back. We're going to get into some NBA 2K Playgrounds 2. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and we'll get into the game. Okay, so I'm in the menu of the game here. So this game is a lot like a... Uh, it's pretty much NBA Jam, only with modern roster um, and microtransactions. So if you look here, we got different modes here. We got Exhibition Game, Court Editor. I haven't tried that yet, so I guess you can make your own levels. Uh, challenges, uh, you got... Playgrounds Championship, which I believe is an online mode, a tutorial, options. Three-point contest is kind of fun, it lets you practice your shooting. Um, and then you have your Get Packs. Now what Get Packs is here, this is how you unlock the players. Um, so the coin currency here is your real world currency that you have to buy with a real money. And then the uh, Harlem Globetrotter Basketballs is the currency that you would use in game. Uh, that you would unlock in game and now you have three packs here uh, these card packs and this is how you unlock the players you get the card pack and you purchase them um, the gold card pack and you get silver and bronze packs so the bronze pack you get more common players players you might not want as much uh, silver pack you, you'll get more uh, that's my joy con drift kicking in there uh, the silver pack you'll get uh, you'll get more uh, players you'll know uh, more popular players uh, but not a, you'll have a better chance of getting them uh, and then you can get you'll get more of the uh, lower level players as well and the gold pack is that's where you're gonna get all your NBA legends like Michael Jordan all them uh, Scottie Pippen all the LeBron all those guys you'll get through the gold packs the issue with this is but may cause you to have a micro use the microtransaction is you're trying to unlock guys but um, when you open these packs and you spend your in-game currency on them you can get players you've already unlocked um, so you may do this forever and you still won't get all the players in the game um, but if you go into the um, card collection area here this will show you all of your teams and all of the players for each team in which you've unlocked. So, and it'll it can show you it'll also show you the players you haven't unlocked and how much they cost individually. So uh, over here, I got these two players here. They came with the game, uh, but then you like I said, you can unlock Michael Jordan, and then you got Scottie Pippen, uh, Dennis Rodman's in it. So you get uh, you get all the legends are in the game as well. Uh, Shaq's in the game. Everybody's in the game. Uh, you also have your NBA season mode where you can pick a team and run through a season. Then you do the playoffs. And I think you can unlock a player with each team uh, in that mode as well. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the game. Oh, wrong area. Going to season. I got a season going already. So we'll just play the 76ers. Uh, this game is cool because it is four player. Uh, makes it a lot of fun to play in a party mode because like I said, it's identical to NBA Jam. Okay, player select, so we'll just pick the only two players we have for this team. So you can essentially, it's just two on two like NBA Jam. Okay, we're going to start with the kickoff here. Okay, I got the ball, so you hold right trigger for your turbo. You can sprint, and then you pass with B. And you shoot with X, and what you got to do, see that gauge pops up. You have to land the gauge in that area that is your highest chance of scoring a basket. Even if you do get it in the area, there still is that chance you will miss. It gives you the percentage that you will land it. The closer to the center you go, the higher the percentage you have of uh, landing it. <clears throat> There's a lot of arcade elements to this game too. Nice, three point. I love arcade elements this too. Um, so you can swap the ball out of the guy's hand, which is kind of nice. You do these huge dunks, the ball can go on fire. Um, looks like my team unlocked unlimited sprinting, so it's like a limited turbo. So you can swap the ball, but you can also push guys, and that makes them immediately lose the ball. 
Oh, that's an ego killer. He pulls down the rebound and passes it off. Defense is like a wall. There we go. Two points. Pull Chandler. Okay, got the ball back. Uh, I don't know what difficulty I set this to. I think I set it to easy. So that's why I'm kind of like myrtleizing the computer here. I'm trying to go for three points. Let's work on my three point shot. It's like they're working on their three point shot too. Now, depending on each individual player's stats, your percentages will change in your shot area there. So if you have a player who's better at three-pointers, you'll have a higher percentage of... Uh, that you can get three-pointers. So this guy uh, sits in the orange, so the most he can get for a three-pointer is about 30%, right? Where other players who are better at three-pointers, uh, they'll have a higher percentage in that area. Ball's on fire, you have a 100% chance of landing the shot as long as you get out of that red zone when you're aiming. And then there's stuff like that, so that hot spot there, if the computer scores, they'll get an extra two points on their uh, on their four points if they uh, score from that uh, spot there. Defender. No good. Aggressive rebounding. Marking it. Lucky that brick didn't shatter the backboard. I gotta get a three pointer, whether you like it or not. There we go, we got one. Let's keep taking those shots. The defense is really controlling the pace here. Okay. The three does not go down. Oh, Dumpy Brewster! Okay, so that's the end of the game. Well, everybody, I just wanted to show you a quick gameplay of NBA 2K Playgrounds 2. Uh, if you like what you saw, hit like. If you dislike what you saw, hit dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. We'll see you later.